Well, good morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here. So good to spend a few minutes with you again this morning. I don't know that uh, we really enjoy saying the words that I'm going to confess to, but I'm just going to start out by saying I'm tired. Now, sometimes we're hesitant to let others know that we're tired. We may think that people might perceive it as a weakness of some kind if we grow weary. We might think that uh, some people might perceive it as a indication that we're just lazy. Now, I've known some people that I really believe instead of being tired, they were just lazy. And yet I've never been accused of being lazy. I've been called a lot of things in my life, but as far as I know, no one has ever called me lazy. And I guess I'm a little bit reluctant to confess to being physically weary because people might think that, uh, you know, I'm just kind of weak in some way or I'm prone to laziness. But I was thinking today about I'm tired and how Jesus himself being subjected to the same in physic, uh, physical infirmities that we are, there were times that he was tired. Remember the time that uh, he and his disciples were out on the sea and he was down in the ship sound asleep. Now I'm not sure what time of the day that was, but it must have been at a time when everybody else was up working because uh, the disciples were above board and they were uh, fishing or whatever they were doing out there that day. And here Christ was laying down there asleep. Remember when the great storm came, the disciples had to go down into the bottom part of the, of the vessel and wake him up. And so I know that Christ got tired and needed a nap once in a while. So he was going through Samaria. It says that he came upon Jacob's well and being weary, he sat there on the edge of that well to enjoy a cup of water and to uh, refresh himself physically. And I know of other times that Jesus throughout his ministry said he would retire to a private place. He would either go up into the mountains or he would go into the desert somewhere. He would just want to get alone and get some rest. So I confess that I'm tired tonight, but I don't want you to think that I'm weak in any way. I'm strong and healthy. I don't want you to think I'm lazy. I've got en enough zeal and energy for two people. I'm just tired. Things have been kind of piling up a little bit. As you know, Carol has had uh, five back surgeries now in four years, and uh, her back problems have necessitated, and I joyfully do it, not complaining, but they've necessitated that I do a lot of work around the house, laundry and the vacuuming, and and uh, other chores that, that she simply is not able physically to do. And that's along with my pastoral duties and my own pursuits and interests. So, uh, you know, I look back and I think, well, I've been busy. I have expended a lot of energy. I have a right to be tired. I think sometimes, you know, I think about the burdens that we carry and a lot of the emotional uh, burdens that we face, the emer emotional struggles that we go through, uh, cause us to become weary physically. I've thought about some of the burdens that we're carrying, burdens for the, for the church and carrying the burdens of the people that we pastor and trying to be a good shepherd of their soul, trying to help uh, them in any way that I can to, to bear their burden. And I think, you know, as we bear the burdens of others along with our own burdens, it takes its toll upon our physical strength. And so there's a lot of reasons that we're tired. And I know one good thing to do if we're tired is to go to bed and go to sleep, but I'm even a little bit reluctant to do that. I don't know, I just always kind of been a night out. When I was in Bible college all those years, I worked at the school district from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. and I'd get home and a lot of times had homework to do or turn paper to write or uh, something, you know, or just wasn't quite ready to go to bed, had to unwind a little bit. I kind of fell in a routine of being up late at night and I still hate to go to bed early and as I get a little bit older, I feel like it's almost a waste of time. I want to make the most of what years I have left and I don't want to spend my life sleeping. My dad used to say when he was having trouble getting us up out of bed in the morning. Are you going to sleep your life away? And we don't want to sleep our life away, I'm sure. And yet we need that rest. And it's no sin to sleep. I had an old Nazarene evangelist out in Colorado that would call me from time to time. And 
He was an early riser where I'm not such an early riser. And some mornings, you know, I would sound rather droggy and sleepy when I answered the phone. And invariably he'd say, did I wake you up? Well, you know how it is. We don't want to confess that we were awakened out of sleep. And so we kind of ham haw around. Well, I, I've been, you know, just kind of dozing in and out or, uh, you know, it's time to get up anyway. And one day he said, just go ahead and tell me that I woke you up. It's no sin to sleep. Well, it's no sin to sleep. It's no sin to rest. And I believe that God expects us to see to it that we take care of our fatigue by getting the physical rest that we need. And you know, I think that as we look to the Lord and ask Him to watch over us throughout the night and to rest our tired body, that He will surely do that. I think that a lot of times as we cast our care upon Him, the fatigue that we have from the emotional burdens and cares that we have, uh, God will help us in such a way to be at peace with that, to give us the calm assurance that all will be well, to where it does not take its toll upon our physical being. So I don't mind telling you tonight I'm tired. I don't want none of you telling me how tired I look or how tired I sound. Uh, just believe me, take me at my word, I'm tired tonight. And uh, yet I know that... Uh, I'm going to go to bed sometime, and I hope to get a good night's sleep. I hope to feel much better tomorrow. I'm going to trust God for the strength and the help that I need to carry out my duties and responsibilities from day to day. Well, I just want to make that confession. I'm not lazy. I'm not weak. I'm just plumb tarred. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, you told us in your word, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And I believe that as we even become weary physically, Lord, that you want to give us the rest that we need for our bodies. We ask thee, O Lord, that thou will help us to be sensible in taking care of ourselves to where we can uh, fight the fatigue that may set in. Pray thee, O Lord, that thou will help us to know that that which takes its toll upon us as we bear burdens and, and, uh, and try to solve life's problems, the Lord, you can help us with those to the extent that it will be a big relief for us. Bless our friends today out there. Pray thee, Lord, that those that are tired, we pray that I will give them rest. Those that are carrying heavy burdens, give them the sweet assurance of your wonderful love and care for them. And Lord, as we serve you today, help us to love and to serve you with all of our might. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting us share. We'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.